Now Paul concludes this this church of Philippi in the fourth chapter, verse 14. Yet it was, now he just received a gift. It was good of you to share in my troubles, he says to this church of Philippi. Moreover, as you Philippines know, in the early days of your acquaintance with the gospel when I set out from Macedonia, not one church shared with me in the matter, or I could say, or you could say the law of giving and receiving. No one participated in the law of giving and receiving, except you. For even when I was in Thessalonica, you sent me aid more than once when I was in need. Not that I desire your gifts. What I desire is that more be credited to your account. We've got to talk about that. What does that word more mean in the Greek? Because most people think that when you get to heaven, you get rewards, right? And you will get rewards, but you have an account. I'll prove it to you. Given it shall be given to you, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be poured into your lap. For with the measure you give, it will be given back to you. Paul says, remember this, whoever sows sparingly will reap sparingly, generously reaps generously. You have an account. Their angels are keeping records. You can put a demand on that account. That word in the Greek, more, literally means advantage meaning that I want more added to your account. What is more? More advantage, more profit. That's what it says. That's the Greek word means profit or effect or the result of work or an act or deed you've done like fruit on a tree. That's what the word means. So Paul is saying, man, I'm excited about you having more added to your account, having more favor, having more profit, having more influence, having more effect and helping me with more ministry. Right? Yes. Credited to your account. I have received full payment and have more than enough. I am amply supplied. Now that I've received from Ephroditus the gifts you sent, they're a fragrant offering and acceptable sacrifice pleasing to God. And my God, and I've said this many, many times, not your God. Don't remember what I taught you in the past. My God, my assignment, my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of, of his glory in Christ Jesus.